Hi guys and welcome back to the channel, Ron's Keto Cafe and I'm Ron. If you're new, welcome and if you're a returning member, welcome back. And if you're a new member, could you please share, like, and smash that subscribe button. It definitely helps other people know when I post videos. And once again, as always, before we get started, I'm not a medical doctor. I don't make any medical claims. This is all based on my own personal journey, so please do your homework first. Well, welcome to another day-to-day -day egg fast. And today we're going to be attempting to do an egg fast, and I just wanted to go over a few things. So I got my glasses on, so I'm sorry about the reflection. And I have to be able to read my notes. So we're going to go over the basic rules of an egg fast. Now, I've done many, many egg fasts over the course of my weight loss journey in 150 weeks, and I just feel it's necessary to do another one. So what is the purpose of an egg fast? Well, the purpose of an egg fast is to get back on track after having a uh, stall or a uh, bad week or a bad month. I didn't really have a bad month there, but yesterday was the holiday and I ate a lot of carbs yesterday and my stomach feels sick and bloated. So we're attempting to do a day-to-day -day egg fast to see how long I can tolerate the eggs. And uh, according to the egg fast rules, uh, there's a YouTuber out there. She's really got a great channel, and she's uh, her name is Christian Davis or Kristen Davis. I got I'll have a link below the show more. But uh, according to her rules, and of course everybody's rules are different now. Mind you, I, I saw tons and tons of videos out there, and that one YouTuber has the same exact rules as everybody else, and mine are no different than everybody else's. I'll just give you before I go over the uh, basics for now. Uh, that give you a for instance, I have some leftover strawberries from this past weekend because we don't throw nothing out in the house. So today I had three eggs over easy and I had a little bit of cottage cheese and I had two strawberries with it. And then later on I'll have some more eggs and figure out what I want to eat the rest of the day. But um, yeah, so that's what I had today, but I'm pretty full right now. So anyways, the purpose of doing an egg fast is to get yourself back on track and just, uh, you know, get back into ketosis. And according to the uh, the YouTuber's rules, you know, you're supposed to eat one egg a half an hour after you wake up in the morning. Yeah, you, you, I get it, but that's not going to happen with me. Remember, you do you. I don't usually eat half an hour when I get up in the morning. Usually I drink one or two cups of coffee, sometimes three, depending on my night before. And I'm good to go with that. And incidentally, you can have coffee and tea when you're doing an egg fast. Uh, as far as eggs go, four to six eggs per meal with two tablespoons of fat per meal and one ounce of cheese per meal. And uh, yeah, you try to get at least one healthy fat per meal. And then, uh, of course, coffee and tea are permitted. And then drink lots and lots of water with pink salt. Now, I use the Redmond's Real Salt, by the way, and I also have the pink Himalayan salt. And those are good quality salts that I've always used since I started my uh, weight loss journey. And I, and I continue using those salts of the day. The, the one with the uh, blue umbrella there, that's, that's, that, that's garbage salt. Remember, salt is our friend, and you can have as much salt as you want, as long as it's the good, healthy salt, okay? And uh, also, uh, I haven't done this in a while, and I still have some left over from last year, so I'm gonna go back to doing the uh, Perfect Collagen from the Perfect Keto, I guess it is. Uh, anyways, I'll have the link below to show more where I get my collagen from, but I, I absolutely love the chocolate and the strawberry, we're going to be sending out for uh, the, the unflavored collagen and the uh, strawberry collagen, which we still got chocolate left. We're going to have one of those today. It comes with a scoop, and I usually take like a 12 or 16 ounce bottle of water, and I put that in it, and I shake it up, and I have my collagen throughout the course of the uh, line. And one of those is okay, and I'm sorry about the street noise, but I do live in an apartment, guys. Okay, and heavy coffee cream is permitted. Uh, in my case, I use a lot of light cream. That's my preferred choice of for my coffee. And then you uh, focus in on trying to get 20 net carbs or less a day, and that'll help your body to get back into ketosis if you're having a bad uh, weight uh, gain. And then stick with a, a stick of butter or healthy oils. Uh, I always that's what I I'm, I always do the uh, Kerry Gold butter. I, I love that butter. It's really really healthy. It's clean. And uh, cheese is allowed with every meal. Low carb sweeteners are okay, but just cut back a little bit because of the calories that and the carbs that are in them because you're trying to lose weight. I would say if you want a diet soda or it's Coke Free Zero, um, you probably could have one or two, but I, I wouldn't recommend it. Now, um, I haven't had any soda since the first uh, day of June, uh, actually last day of May, because I, I, I went on a keto challenge for the month of uh, June and I don't have any more soda. 
So I'm going to try to continue that trend for a little while longer, see how long I can tolerate it. But I've, I've had soda, at least one soda every day in my life since I started drinking soda. And uh, I'm trying to lay off of that stuff. And the other challenge for me to give up is coffee. I'm not sure about that yet, but still con contemplating on that. Okay. So, uh, so we talked about the sugar free condiments are okay to use. Uh, spices are okay to use. When you do an egg fast, you're going to get pretty sick of eggs, the plain old boring eggs, butter and cheese, no matter, even if you scramble them up or do shavels. So what I like to do is I like to change them up from time to time. And I'll put like uh, some red pepper flakes, some everything else, seeds and bagel in, some sesame seeds. I'll make some egg loaves and uh, egg bites and all that sort of thing. Uh, hot boiled eggs are always good. Uh, what else? Oh, I bought a uh, recipe book that all oh, for eggs. So I'm going to try to pull a couple of uh, recipes out of that book. And uh, we'll go with that. Now, I saw another YouTuber there. I, I'll have her link below the video. But her name is Paula, I believe. And she puts really, really great content up every day. And uh, she also has a book. I'm going to be sending out for that book this week so I can do some recipes out of her book. Her book. She lost a ton of weight also. But, and I'll have her contact link below the video. And then and the other tip I have is try to stay away from alcohol because alcohol, will, once again, will get carbs. And uh, now as far as eggs go, get what you can afford to get for eggs. I mean, I can't. My wife and I live on a budget, and I got to go according to the budget. Once the money's off for the month, it's a long haul before the next month comes in. So I'm, I'm very careful on what I spend. Get what you can afford. If all you can afford is the uh, 99 cent eggs at Walmart's or wherever they sell that, if you can find 99 cent does eggs anymore, I think now they're about two or three dollars. Get what you can afford. I usually get the uh, cage free, uh, free arranged eggs, and uh, but this when I'm done with when I have for eggs. I'm going to go back to the organic eggs for the uh, remainder of my egg fast. And, and I typically would do an egg fast between three to five days with a two-day period of transitioning. Uh, I wouldn't know why you would want to do any longer than that. It, I'd be honest with you guys. Uh, I don't know how much you do really tolerate eggs for that length of time. But just do the best you can. I am certainly am. And, uh, you know, hopefully you'll have a you know, uh, successful, uh, you know, drop in weight, but I'm doing an egg fast right now because I feel it's necessary with fast approaching our third year anniversary. And uh, I don't know if I want to really lose any more weight right now. I'm about 220 pounds and I'm okay with that. I, I mean, if I don't lose any more weight, so what? But my biggest concern is just to get healthy and uh, get my feet under control and get my left hip replaced at some point and get out there and continue doing what I love to do, which is inspire you and get out there and get healthy. I was talking to a guy this morning when he did some fishing and he belongs to the gym that I can, I can walk right across the street. He pays like $20 a month and I can get that uh, through the insurance company for $250. So um, I'm definitely gonna go over there and join it this week because uh, you know, if my feet are that bad and I can't and I'm limited on my walking, I can get my exercise another way. So that's the direction I'm gonna be going to. And uh, for me, it'd be great if they can go over there for one or two hours and to come home and just do a little bit of light walking. But yeah, so I hope you enjoyed these tips and uh, 101 basics on the uh, egg fast. And uh, again, don't forget to like, share, this, and subscribe to my channel. We'll have uh, videos every day on what I eat in a day series. But uh, it's pretty much simple when I have fried eggs. I'm sure everybody knows how to fry eggs. I mean, it, I mean, I, I always like make the eggs over easy with a little bit of runny yolk in them. And uh, I had three of those today and I'm going to have some more later. But anyways, I hope you have an amazing day. Uh, be watching for that follow-up for the next uh, series of videos when I start posting um, what I eat a day. You know, I, I may go like one or two days without not filming and then, without filming and then do like a, maybe I like put three videos up during the time that I'm doing my egg fast. So you, if you guys want to follow along, you follow along. And also you can take photographs of your profile or you can take, like it's recommended that you get a scale number. And then at the end of your egg fast, you can um, <clears throat> uh, compare your weight total. And, uh, but I know my, I'm picking up a little weight in my tummy and I'm kind of like back up to a one X shirt from being down to a large. And I don't like that. So another reason why I'm doing an egg fast is to get my body and my weight under control. So I can feel good about myself again because I've been I've been really depressed for a really long time because of my feet, and uh, I definitely don't want to go back to the other way and be depressed again. I've been guess I've been coming out of my depression and, and uh, with the help of you guys and uh, with God and I do believe in God and Jesus by the way, 
And be that as it said, we're going to leave now. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Remember, I love you. God loves you. Have an amazing day.